Hello and welcome to Dimsy's Domain and mm, the title, what's going on here? I know, I know, I know. I done a video before talking about a theory of what if Zeno was sealed at the end of the Tournament of Power through the Super Dragon Balls and I discuss options and just avenues of thought regarding that topic and by the way I got a lot of comments and a lot of positive support regarding the increase of theory slash discussion videos thank you for that by the way let's talk about this instead of Zeno being sealed after the tournament of power what if Zeno has already been sealed what if Zeno was wished what if Zeno was sealed into a childlike body now there's been a lot of comparisons a lot of parallels regarding Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT whether it's through the similar character design such as in Dragon Ball Super we have Moscow which is a god of destruction and in Dragon Ball GT we've got Lord Lud who is also touted as a destruction god but they look very similar it's obvious that the inspiration for Moscow's design was through Lord Lude or it could be from the storyline perspective for example the tournament of power requires some sort of goal to be achieved via a time limit to stop the destruction of the universe very similar to the black star dragon balls you need to get them within the year or bang poof goes the earth so there's been a lot of similarities through GT super and through super and other forms of non-canon media for example the big one is of course Kale is very very reminiscent of Broly who is not a canon character. Now I know it's a bit of a wacky theory but what if Zeno was wished via the Super Dragon Balls to be uh, kind of captured, kind of enclosed in that childlike body. Now I'm going to make the assumption that the magic of the Super Dragon Balls have no limit. I think that if you were to say via the Super Dragon Balls can you kill Zeno it's not going to work. But if you say through the Super Dragon Balls, can you seal away Zeno? I think it will work. Or what if Zeno was sealed into that childlike body through someone who's more powerful or someone who they kind of gathered the means to do so? I.e. Dai Shinkan. Oh no, I think he's evil. That's not kind of a spoiler. I got a lot of videos around the channel talking about why I think he's a bit of an evil bastard. I do think we are in the realm of believability. We are talking about the king of all, the Omni King, the person that is at the tippy top of the pyramid. You'd expect them to be more intelligent than the average Joe, than the average God, than the average angel. You'd expect them to be having more decisive qualities, more so qualities that make them worthy of being a monarch of everything. So far, we've seen none of these qualities from Zeno. We've seen nothing that makes us think, okay, he should be a king. He is a worthy king. If anything, he's more so of a destructive enforcer. And the person who has the most intelligence is actually Dai Shinkan. Now, what I think about Dai Shinkan, check out my other videos. I go into detail regarding my four processes, different avenues of theories and uh, discussions talking about Dai Shinkan, talking about Zeno. But I think that Zeno is showing uncharacteristically weird, weird behavior for a king. However, we must know that it's Akira Toriyama. He's a gag manga artist. He's a gag manga writer to the core. So it may just be that. But wouldn't it be a nice parallel? Wouldn't it be absolutely beautiful, to be honest, for Zeno to be wished into a childlike form, very similar to Dragon Ball GT, as unpopular as it is that Goku was wished to be a child again. So the more parallels to GT and it would be a nice homage even though GT was not the most successful, even though GT is universally not regarded as the best iteration of the Dragon Ball franchise even though it may not have been the best plot point. If you incorporate that in Super, it can make it work. It can make sense. And at the same time, hey, to all us Dragon Ball fans, it'll make us smile knowing that we've identified that, saying that, hey, this is from GT. Now, a little task for you lot. After finding out that Zeno's been sealed into his body, how would you write the story onwards? Please make sure to comment it down below. I am really quite interested to see how you creative geniuses write the story of Dragon Ball Super. Anyway, it's a bit outlandish. It's a bit out there. I know it's a tad wacky. It's a bit quirky. But regardless, I think it is still in the realm of possibility. Somewhat stretches your sense of believability. But hey, that's just another theory video right there. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe if you are enjoying these 
influx of theory and discussion videos, please tell me down below. You may now exit Dimsy's domain. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. Don't die.